Employers come to Texas State all the time, but they were looking for something specific last week at the criminal justice job and internship fair. Recruiters were seeking students who might work in law enforcement or corrections. We have some that are interested in law enforcement careers. Some of them are interested in careers that are related to law enforcement, forensics and so forth, uh, communications. Um, we have a lot of people that come in asking about internships. The event has been held annually since the mid-80s. Many employers have been coming for years, finding new applicants to do new jobs. We have attended every one, not only the criminal justice career fair, but all the majors that, uh, that we're offered. Over 40 employers attended, including the San Marcos Police Department, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, as well as the retailer Target. For Bobcat Update, I'm Matthew Connor. ICAT, which stands for Individualized Co-Curricular Activity Transcript, is used to document student experiences outside the classroom. Such experiences may include athletics, events, community service, scholarships, and honors. ICAT was kind of like a second transcript that travels with you, and it keeps track of everything that you do that's related to the school. So if I were to go to an event, I could swipe in with my ID and it would keep track that I went to that event. The ICAD record can be used to show employers or graduate schools something about students other than their grades. This is a way to show that you have connections, to show that you've gone out there, to show that you've to show that you're more than just someone who's just going for grades, because in college it's not just about grades. Some believe that the university can do a better job of informing students about this co-curricular transcript. So I think that uh, the university could probably uh, maybe publish it in some of the newsletters that they have, um, send out a, the email, the informational emails that they have. The ICAT service can be found online. Go to the Texas State website and search for ICAT. For Bobcat Update, I'm Claudia Hernandez. spring break just around the corner, Mothers Against Drunk Driving are doing all they can to help raise awareness about the dangers of driving while intoxicated or getting in the car with an intoxicated driver. MAD was on the Texas State campus Tuesday afternoon in collaboration with the University Police Department, handing out literature and allowing students to wear goggles that simulated them being drunk. The goal of the event was to encourage students who choose to drink during spring break to do so responsibly and safely. The Hispanic Policy Network and Texas State are working together to provide scholarships. Students who are awarded the scholarships will receive funds to help them with tuition as well as room and board. Applications are due April 1st at the Hispanic Policy Network and can be sent by email. Students will have to submit two letters of recommendation and a two-page essay explaining their future goals. For more information on how to apply and eligibility requirements, visit the HPN website at hispanicpolicy.org. Bobcats can help save lives this week if they're willing to join the Bone Marrow Donor Registry. Several booths have been set up on campus this week by an organization called Be The Match. Students are encouraged to fill out paperwork and offer DNA samples to be used for finding a match. Bobcats who are unable to make it to a booth have the option to register online at join.marrow.org where they can fill out the paperwork electronically. Oral swabs can be sent by surface mail. 21 Bobcat donors have saved lives using the Be The Match registry since 2008. The DREAM Act became law in 2001. The law allows for undocumented citizens, those who are living in Texas, to qualify for in-state tuition. The law faces stiff opposition in Austin. Several lawmakers have vowed to repeal it. With the majority of Republicans in both the, uh, the Senate and the House, uh, there stands a pretty good chance that, that the, uh, the law may be overturned. So uh, it's up to the legislators to change the policy that's been in place since uh, 2001. Those who oppose the DREAM Act claim it wastes taxpayer money, but those who favor it see it as an investment. I mean, it actually sounds like a pretty fair deal. Um, it kind of just like levels the playing field for people who might, well, obviously are going to be, in most cases, a lot more disadvantaged than most actual U.S. citizens. To qualify for in-state tuition under the law, prospective students must sign a document that claims their intentions to gain citizenship. They must also graduate from high school or earn a GED, and they must be living in Texas for a minimum of three years. 
for a Bobcat update, Ruby Villarreal.